All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honor said, teach us that lesson, apostle of Great Millstone. Also, dear brothers, I did put notice through faithfully, fear to see, feed, and sheep. And dear brothers, I tuning in, Shalom. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, start with verse 3, and it reads, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man will simply reveal the son of perdition. Now, we are here today, uh, all, of, all of the uh, prophets, uh, elders, teachers, and apostles, and brothers, and likewise, brothers of Great Millstone, uh, bringing out this gospel out to the highways and the byways here in Great Babylon, America. Okay, now, the thing that any of these brothers can tell you, that they'll come across these other nations. Now, we're not talking about these e Edomites, okay, the so-called white people, because, I mean, they're naturally going to come up there, okay, and try to play you and try to, you know, switch the conversation or switch the gospel in their favor that they're the, they're the, they're the chosen people and that, you know, so-called Jesus loved the whole entire earth so much that he gave his life for it and that everybody's going to be saved no matter what kind of piece of shit you are. Now, we know a lot. We know better than that because we've been given this truth, okay, this revelation. And we are revealing right now who's the, who the wicked man on this earth. And it is, without a doubt, the so-called white man, okay, who they call Caucasian, okay, and this man who has exalted himself. Now, the rest of these nations, okay, you have these Moabite, Ammonite, okay, Elamite, Hamite, all these other nations. When they hear us talk, and you talk to them because if you work with some of these 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 uh, folks, okay, they have this disbelief that you was just some disgruntled so-called black man, okay, and that none of this is actually going to take place because this is just something that's in our imagination, or you're going to get this when you actually uh, die and go meet, you know, the guy with the horns and the spandex suit. Let's go into the book of Revelations because we, this is this is talking about what is taking place here on earth, and this is actually uh, starting to... Um, basically reveal itself right now right before the eyes of those who have eyes to see and ears to hear okay this is the book of revelations 3 stand with verse 10 and it reads because thou hast kept the word of my patience who is this talking about this is talking about who the elect the servants of Yahweh shai mashiach okay i will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth wait a minute i thought uh you know, the JC like like everybody. So why is there a temptation that's going to come on, on top of the on on the earth? Okay, in the book of Revelation. Okay, it's because there is a judgment that's set to come on who the so-called white man. Okay, and if it's coming on the so-called white man, okay, this judgment is going to go on everybody else. Okay, including okay. Israel, Yasharala, us so-called black Native American Latinos. Now the, it made reference there. Okay, because of keeping the word and doing the work, that there's a certain amount okay that's been counted okay to have protection okay from this judgment that's going to be coming on the earth so this does not offer protection to these other nations that are here okay these other 17 nations okay that are different from uh yasharala are so-called black native americans latinos okay and the two-thirds can go 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 with these other nations too because they're not going to be they're not going to get this protection okay they're not going to get that protection okay let's go into the book of revelations 12 and sound verse 12 it says therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth see earth okay this is earth all 18 nations are here on earth and it reads and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth he had but a short time why his we reveal who this devil is okay we reveal the man of perdition okay who is what the so-called white man and that's why you see everything is in place right now okay they're gonna corrupt the, uh, the the they're gonna bankrupt all the banks on all these nations okay they're gonna uh they're making creating shortages of food and supplies right now as we speak they're changing the laws all across this earth you know man can have their pecker cut off the women can have their titties cut off okay turn into uh, a female a male can turn into female a female can turn into a male and all sorts of wickedness that you see going on here okay so he's coming down to right now the great rat which is going to lead up to the destruction okay of great babylon america when yahushua mashiach returns this is the book of jeremiah 51 and stand verse 7 and it says Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken the nations have drunken off of wine therefore the nations are mad now let's take a look at that word mad okay the word mad mentally ill and seen do we not see that the rest of these nations are mentally ill and seen take a look at it 
The fact that you've got these Down syndrome looking people, these Moabites, these so-called Chinese, have the nerve to really believe, okay, that they're above you, that they're above the chosen people. They look down on us, okay, these other nations coming here because they're baffled at the fact that we've been here over 500 years and yet still we're at the bottom, okay? So they're insane because why? This, the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, okay? Who is who? The so-called white man, okay? Who is the man of perdition, okay? The one who's going to go into, who's the son of perdition, who's going to go into destruction. And he right now rules, okay, the empire, okay, or the tribe that is ruling this earth, which is what? The tribe of Edom, okay? These Edomites, the so-called white people, okay? But they're mad. They're really mad because they, they, they look, they watch his, 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 his TV shows, they look at his technology, um, and they look at how he exalts himself, not understanding this man is just what? Not more than a doggone liar, Okay? Now, remember, we've got that protection. And now, no matter how many times we go there and, you know, if you see a, 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 a gook walk past you or one of these, uh, you know, dingy, stinking highlights, you know, come up, you know, they, they're looking at you as just some angry nigga just standing up there ranting and raving with some pictures, you know, of things that happened in the past when the so-called white man hung you from a tree. Okay, this is the book of Revelations 20, where it says, And when the thousand years expired, Satan shall be loose out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations, all nations, okay, including his own, okay, 18 nations, which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Okay? We have an enormous amount, uncountable, okay, amount of these people that are against who? Us. They're against us. Everybody in this earth. You don't believe me? Go go to any, any of these nations across the earth right there and you'll see exactly how they deal with you. Okay? Doesn't matter if you have more money than them. Doesn't matter if you bring that petrol dollar over. Okay? They know our history. They know who we are. They're seeing what the so-called white man have done to us, okay? So they're mad. And this madness goes to all these nations, including these ones that actually come over here, okay? Can't even speak the local language, which, which is this bastard language, English. But yet still, they look at the saints. They look at the sons of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the son of God, okay? The true inheritance of the, of, of the kingdom to come, okay? As nothing beneath them, okay? So they are insane, okay? Let's go into the book of Revelations, 18 and 3 because they have been they've been deceived okay by this devil okay and this reads for all nations have drunk of the wine of the rod of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies so this is madness i mean imagine you have rich friends you know they can supply you with any kind of money you know drugs you know food whatever whatever the case is like that you're, you're gonna kind of you didn't really earn it you know, but, you know, you start to actually look at their stuff as actually your stuff and everybody else is beneath you, even though you don't really have anything. And that's these other nations right now. See, Babylon su supplies all of the entertainment on this earth, supplies all the goods. OK, you even give weapons to their own uh, on their enemy. OK, just to keep what they, 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 they have one tribe, you know, within a tribe, you know, or, or sides within a, in a tribe. OK. Uh, fighting and fighting against each other what just to to meet up with their agenda or, or their wicked agenda that they that they are doing that's the reason why these governments are so willingly you know ready to bow down right now Esau okay right now America Great Babylon is having a war okay with <laughs> with Russia but actually is not actually shooting any type of any any bullet at them okay they're using okay a proxy they're using dug on Ukraine okay to get what what they want their agenda going and so these nations okay because they are blinded, okay, by the by the god of this world, Rafi Prophesian, okay, which is Esau the Edomite, who's ruling this wicked kingdom, okay, they enjoying the wealth and the riches of it, okay, they can believe what we're saying. This truth is not is not it's not seeping inside of them. And it was not meant to be, because why? The wrath is really going to be on, on who? The inhabitants of this earth and the sea, okay, which is all a multitude of people. Let's go into the book of Isaiah. 45 and 7 because they, they they don't understand okay they think jc is this good guy okay which is probably a good guy for them okay but we don't know who jc really is okay what we know is yahweh shai mashiach okay and we know yahweh bashim yahweh shai okay this is who is actually the author okay who's orchestrating okay what you see going on right now because why he creates the character okay this is the book of isaiah 45 and 7 it says i form the light and create darkness I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. So guess what? 
He's okay. You watch Lord of the Rings, okay? They could have made that little uh, what is uh, the the guy that the, the little elf or whatever the case is that who wanted the ring in the end, who died in the end. They could have made him, you know, get the ring and live happily ever after, okay? But the person J.R. Tolkien's who wrote Lord of the Rings, he wrote it, and there was specific battles that had to take place. You know, there had to be people dying. You know, uh, there had to be you know a villain in there, and then the villain was whatever that dog on a uh, big eye that was you know spinning around. You know, looking at people, all right? And the hobbits were the heroes, okay? So the Lord has created this earth and everything in it and everything that's going by right now. The willing, in this case, is ooh, Esau the Edomite, okay? And the other nations that are here, okay, whether they don't want to believe it or not, but here's what ooh, ooh, here's how they describe. This is the book of Isaiah 40 and 15. It reads, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance behold he take it up the aisles as a very little thing so these nations are actually they're nothing they ain't crap okay other than yasharala okay the tribe of israel okay us so-called blacks native americans latinos okay the rest of these nations are nobody okay they're really just starring in okay the lord's movie okay they're 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 the characters in the book okay and then you always have a movie and who there's always going to be a villain and what a good guy and okay there's going to be a star and a co-star in this case you have the two stars so who are the two stars in this okay it's esau and jacob okay let's go into the book of revelations 13 or 14 because here's what Esau okay right now who is you know taking up most of the uh you know the 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 movie okay the Lord's movie right now here's what he's here's what he's his character has been given the authority to do this is the book of Revelations 13 sound verse 13 and it reads and he do it great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men okay all those atomic weapons that he blew up you know, over Japan, okay, and all these wars that he's uh, that he's had, he's shown he's capable of doing what, making fire coming from the sky, and he deceived it, them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the beast, the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Go into these nations. Thailand looks just like New York. If you go to Bangkok, if you go to Tokyo, Tokyo is just as just as the same size as New York. If you go uh, to Beijing, it's the exact same thing. You go to Sydney, Australia, it, it doesn't matter where you go. It looks just like here. To walk in the same way, the women wearing trousers, okay? McDonald's everywhere. I mean, you really believe that you're in America. So it's almost, if really, you start, after you go a couple times to these different countries, you realize it's a waste of money, okay? It's a waste of money. You might as well just stay here, okay? Go down to Vegas where they have, you know, all, all, all those different theme parks or stuff like that, these hotel theme parks. And it says, and you have power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man may buy or sell, say he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which we know is the so-called white man. Now, if we go back to Revelations 3, or uh, slack here, Revelations 12 and 12, what does it say? It says, therefore rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he know that he have a short time. This is part of that wrath, okay? And it is going to impact, okay, all the nations that are here. So all you, all you Prius driving Ammonites or you Prius driving or Lexus driving uh, Moabites out there, you Elamites, you Hamites, all you all have your little town and your little, your little uh, space and your, your, your uh, corporations and stuff over here, you are going to be a part of this wrath that the so-called white man that y'all praise so much and worship and are drunk and don't see the snake in the chicken coop okay coming to get you okay you're going to wake up okay to a horrific experience here in great babylon and all across this earth okay we always used to have a saying here when i was in the military nothing is free you're damn right okay do you really believe you got rich off this edomite empire Okay, without having to pay a price. Okay, this is part of the Lord's book. Let's go into the book of Genesis because, again, I talked about the character. Okay, the two main characters, Esau and Jacob. Here's what Genesis says. This is Genesis 25 and starting with verse 23. And it says, And the Lord, Yahweh Shemeshai, said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people should be separated from thy bowels. Okay, Esau and Jacob. And the one people should be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger. Esau came out first, okay? 
Esau chemo first. Here he read that described the so-called white man. And then Jacob chemo second. Okay. And Jacob, who was younger, that's us, the tribe of, the tribe of Israel, the Asherala, us so-called blacks and Americans and Latinos, is stronger mentally and physically than this man. Okay. We are, he is going to be what? Our servant, and he is going to serve us, and that is the destiny because that is the conclusion of this particular story that the Halbashim Yeshar has written. And you other nations out here, this is the book of Isaiah 40 and 17, and it reads, All nations before him are us nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Because you were created to do what? You're created as extras in the movie, you're gonna suffer, you're gonna die, you've had the wealth. We've been in the corner here suffering, okay, because that was our uh, our part in this movie, okay, in the Lord's work, okay, is that we would suffer and be at the bottom, even though we are the inheritance, okay, we are the princes and the kings of this earth, okay, in the kingdom to come, okay, you people have had a great time and a great run with it, because why? You've all sided with who? The dog on devil, so if the Lord, okay, is going to put, okay, the means, the, the star right now, okay, Esau the Edomite, okay, in the captivity, okay, destroy him and make him serve us for a thousand years, a thousand brutal years of slavery, and then destroy him afterward, what do you think is going to happen to the rest of you nations that have been drunk, okay? When you're dealing with drunk nations, okay, or dealing with a drunk, a drunk woman, okay, what can you do? You can take advantage, and Esau has done that to all of you. He's taken advantage of all of you. You've gotten all of you to do what? Drink his wine, drink his bullshit, Okay, depend on him, and now he can now destroy you at will, and it's exactly what this man is going to do because this is part of that judgment that's going to be coming here on Great Babylon America and also on this earth to take Esau to power and our Malak Yahushai Mashiach returning, okay, and sharing his kingdom, which is everlasting, with his servants, which is us, our so called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos who are doing the work, okay, and heralding his come. So, Lord willing, you edify, I like to close up again, Lord, prayers, glory, and honor. The Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, double honors to teach us, Ellis, and the apostles of Great Millstone. Also, to you, brothers, so that are putting on the truth faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep, and to you, brothers and sisters, are tuning in. Shalom.